KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at you fellas again with this motherfucking heat. Elbows, wrists, knees, feet on the back of that bitch motherfucking neck. We holding them down. Alpha's up in this motherfucker. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave me with them comments. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get at me on my email. RailRail81 at Yahoo.com. That's R-E-L-L. R-E-L-L 81 at yahoo.com. Check this out. Are kids worth having? Children, young ones, little ones. Are they worth having? I got two. Um, ask yourself that. And this is for my and this is particularly for my young fellas that's coming up today in today's society. Are they worth having? No. And I'm going to answer that honestly. And I got two children. My children are a little older, but I'm going to answer that honestly. No. To a certain extent. Let me back that up. Because we all would love to have a legacy. We all would love to leave behind something that we know that we have created. Whether it's um, having the children, whether it's owning property, whether it's um, having equity in certain business in certain states that um, in certain states that you got going on in life, and um, we all would love to have that. We all will have a piece of our legacy left behind, especially men. Now, I love my children. I strongly strongly, strongly regret who I had them by. And I'm going to say that. Now, I got no problem with children. But the motherfuckers you having them by, I definitely got a problem with that. Because these women are something else, man. They are, um, let me put it like this. Children are beautiful to have, to have that legacy left behind once you pass on. The problem is that living your life while dealing with the children comes with a package. And that package normally be their parent, their, the, the other half of the parent, which is their mother. Now, a lot of the fellas may agree with me on this. Some that don't have children, you may not. But those who do, they know they do. Agree with me on this. If you got a bad baby mother, it's a hundred times out of hundred, she's going to destroy your image, destroy your whole persona. And she's going to do it to your kids. She's going to give them Everything that they don't need to hear in the negative form to the epitome, to the utmost about you. That's the downside that I hate about having children is because she ain't the one no more. She's mad because you have moved on and you're doing other things in your life and she's not the one no more. So she hold your children over your head. She'll keep them away from you. She'll throw you on child support. Um, and if you do see your children, knowing that you do take care of them, you provide financially, she'll send them over dirty as a motherfucker with dusty ass clothes or or mismatched shit. Or she, she's going to do anything to provoke you. Why? It's because you're not fucking with her no more. That's the downside of having a fucked up baby mama. Now, What's good about having a baby mama is that you got two children because that's a legacy. Everything else is bad. Nothing else is good about having a baby mama. So for my young fellas out there, you want to watch who you impregnate. Matter of fact, you want to pack those condoms on and don't impregnate shit. Stack your chips. Fuck a bitch. And get your motherfucking bread right and travel. See the world. There's more to offer. You know, and I advise a lot of my men, if y'all haven't already done it already, to don't just stop at one race of woman. Try to get around. 
try to date interna uh, 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 interracially and internationally. I'll put it like that. Interracially and internationally. Do your thing. Don't let one race of women, don't let one city, don't let one town, don't let one state hold you back. Get out there and get around. Pack those condoms. Baby mamas are drama. And don't, don't be like, okay, yeah, I heard that before. Baby mamas are drama. These women are drama. Yeah. Don't let that be a cliche to your mind. You, what you want to do is know that it's the facts that these bitches are drama. And when you're not, when you're not with them and you're doing good without them, and you got children by them, they're gonna take you down through. They're gonna do anything to but they're gonna do anything to make you wanna ball your fists up and knock teeth out their motherfucking mouth. Or go to the next level. But avoid all that. And how you avoid all that is by keeping your motherfucking dick in that condom. I advocate that. I promote. Young men to wear those condoms. I promote all men to wear the condom. But your young men, you got a better chance. Because you're young and you, you got a fresh life ahead of you. Me, myself, I got two children. I'm a little older. I still got a good, I still got a good lengthy life ahead of me. But I definitely know right from wrong. That's why I'm here giving y'all that. Y'all may not know right from wrong just yet. And why y'all may not know right from wrong yet is because you're young. You got to go through the phase of experiencing. So bang they motherfucking back out, but do it with a condom. And do it with some class. Do it with some dignity. Do it with some morals, some fucking standards. Respect your goddamn self. If you don't, she going to rape them pockets. And how she rape them pockets when you become successful is by jumping on that motherfucker. When she riding you, holding you tight, don't want to let up off of you when you're trying to get her up. Oh, baby, move, I'm great boss, I'm great boss, move, please, move. She hold you down tight because she's thinking about a goal. That goal is success off of you with these kids. Without that, without those kids, without this, what you got coming out of you to create these kids. She's a motherfucking nobody. She's just another bitch in the wind, just like the rest of them. So when you got things going, that's when they really on your goddamn head, heels about that paper. And they will lay on their ass and they'll keep popping them motherfucking kids out. And at the end of the day, they're going to child support the shit out of you. It's going to ruin your goddamn future. Owing this shit. Having to settle out with a deadbeat, dirty ass motherfucking bitch. All because you love... Your children, all because you came in with good intentions. Your intentions was to have these children and leave behind a legacy. Do for these children, support them, give them great advice, mold them. Her intentions wasn't on the same border as yours. Her intentions is not like yours. Her intentions is to come up, is to um, um, finance her life by any means necessary. And if it's off you, it's off you. If she got to do it with them kids, she'll do it with them kids. Oh, you ugly telling your kids you ugly and shit. You look like your goddamn father because you ain't fucking with her. I'd have seen it all. I'd have been through it all. I'd have, man, look see here, bro. Keep your shit packed in a condom. Bustle and keep moving. Fuck the next dude who got a kid. Fuck the next chick who got a kid. So what? Remember to always look at this. That's a problem waiting to happen later on in life. And it definitely is. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts about it, young man. It's a problem waiting to happen later on in life. Remember that, man. You gotta remember that. Because if you don't remember that, man, you are headed for destruction. You are doomed. These women know what they're doing. It don't matter what race, what ethnicity these women are. They're all like-minded. And the, and the government give them, them tools so they become like-minded. That's why you see a high rate in divorces. That's why you see a high rate in breakups, especially during this corona shit. Because they know what's up. They got the OnlyFans. They got a lot of shit going on now, man. They know where the bag is at and they will get it off your ass. And you simps and you suckers out here paying them. Fuck them. Feed them. Bubble gum and peanuts. Flee on them. That's 
what you do, man. Oh, yeah. Get back at me. KC. Red Pill Alpha. Like this shit, share this shit, pimp. 100.